Hey guys, Justin with Summit Racing here, back with our 2020 Ram build. After lifting our Ram and installing our KMC wheels and 351250 Mickey Thompsons, we need to recalibrate our speedometer. And we're gonna do it with this trick little module called the Taser, but it does this and so much more. In fact, we decided to do a separate standalone video to provide a closer look. The Taser is made by Z Automotive and is a simple plug-in module. There's not much installation actually, but there is a little bit of setup once it's plugged in. We'll get into both the installation and the setup in a few moments, but first, let's take a look at what this little plug-in piece can do. Although it's not a true performance programmer, the Taser does unlock a lot of hidden features. In addition to calibrating the speedometer to non-factory tire size, the Taser can disable tire pressure monitoring system warnings, enable disable daytime running lights, enable the support for LED lights. It also unlocks a light show that functions with six presets and three make your own light shows, cool down mode that enables the engine fans on demand when the ignition is on and the engine is not running, winch mode which temporarily raises the engine idle to 2000 RPMs, low range when in two wheel drive, increased shift schedule and locker control, ESP and traction control disable, and zero to 30 and zero to 60 second timers. Best of all, the installation and setup is pretty simple and we'll show you how. Prior to installing your Taser, make sure to log on to Z Automotive's website to check for the latest firmware update. If you're not sure where your SGW module is located, it can be hard to find. We used our headlight switch as a frame of reference, worked our way down the dash, and went directly up, and it's located right there. Installation is a matter of unplugging the SGW module from behind the OBD2 port and plugging the Taser in. First, you're going to go ahead and click your truck over to the run position without starting it. Next, select the audio menu. While holding the left arrow, click the cancel button. Then, use cancel to select Mary and hit OK. With your module married to your truck, now you can select all the settings. So now that our Taser is married to our truck, we're ready to change our tire size for our larger wheels and tires. First thing we're gonna do is click our truck over to the run position. Next, we're gonna use the arrow pad on the left hand side to select the audio menu. Holding the left arrow, we're gonna hit cancel and bring up the taser menu. Scrolling through the taser menu with the cancel button, we're gonna to go to performance options and hit the cruise on and off to select it. Now we're ready to change our tire size. To change our tire size, we're gonna select it with the cruise on and off button. While using the plus and minus arrows to adjust our tire size. Our tires are about 33.48 inches tall, so we're gonna select that as a good starting point. We're gonna use the cruise on and off button to select it again. Now that we've gone ahead and selected our tire size, we need to reboot it to finalize it in the truck. And that's all it takes to get the Taser set up in our Ram pickup. While the Taser delivers all sorts of features you can't see, we're gonna focus on some aftermarket goodies you can see in part three of our build. Next up, we're gonna give this Ram a facelift and some armor. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.